Good morning. Happy Switch Up Saturday. It is relatively early. Um, I've already gone out and got my coffee though. It is a monster one because I need it. That's that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I need it. So I wanted to go to Trader Joe's and just I got that over with. Um, so yeah, 8.30, 8.30 a.m. Um, so let's see, how has the week gone? Oh, we used up, um, used up, <laughs> used my Michael Kors bag for the week and it was okay. Um, definitely fine for work, was able to carry the um, computer in it okay. I mean, obviously I prefer my Neverfall, so um, it was fine, but I, I would have preferred to carry my Neverfall with everything I needed to take into the office that day. Um, but it still worked out. Um, let's see what else, uh, still having issues with the nails. So, um, I did the minimal thing, but with just this topper, um, but I forgot to really spend time putting in that, um, cuticle oil and treatment. Um, so they're still kind of slowly chipping away and, um, breaking. So it seems like every day I'm filing, filing that down. So I don't know if I'm going to put anything on today. If I do, it will probably be like a creme polish and a top coat and that's it. Just something really basic and, um, you know, minimal. So we'll see. Um, we'll talk about the fragrances that went okay. We'll chat about that there. Um, I've already picked out the bag of the week. Um, I actually picked it out last week. Um, if you didn't kind of get the hint from what I was talking about, um, grabbed a bunch from up in the storage archive, so to speak up there and just kind of decided, um, when I was poking through them, which one was going to be the, the next one. Um, I thought maybe because it's almost summer, I mean, grand Memorial Day is like the start of summer, but because the weather here, it's like we're in the awkward teenage phase, phase with weather in Oregon. So it's until it's actually officially summer, we never know what we're going to get. So like one day it's rainy and cold as heck. And I think today is going to be like mid 80s. I can't remember the actual forecast right now. I'm freezing for some reason in my house. Um, but it's one day it's this. The next day it's, you know, 95. It's just like you know, pick, pick a, pick a season. Let's go with it. Once we get into the, you know, prime of summer, it'll be pretty consistent. Um, but because it's right now that, like I said, awkward teenage phase, um, I was going to pull out my, um, Azure Speedy and start like using my white bags or my colorful bags, things that I don't usually, um, use during the, the what, <laughs> which is like, most of the time here, the wet seasons. Um, but I'm, you'll see the one I, I picked out, why I picked it and why I'm going to do it. Um, just to use it, just to see, um, if it makes sense, but, um, we'll go with the verdict on that. Other than that, it's just been work. Um, kids have been behaving, so nothing, um, to report as far as them, um, health wise. Oh, Dolly's got a little thing on her face so we're watching that I think pugs get acne apparently didn't know so it's some kind of little ingrown something blocked pore on her face so nothing that we're supposed to be concerned about per se but she's like <laughs> constantly trying to poke at it and I feel bad for it I want to take her in but you know I'm like overly high strung out mom and there have been way too many uh, vet ER visits in the last year and a half between all the pugs. So I just need to walk it back. I should insert my little, I took a picture the last time I was at the emergency vet with her, um, about like when you go, when you need to come in, when, when is the actual, like, you know, oh my God, the sky is falling, bring them into the emergency vet. Um, you know, what, what criteria there is. <laughs> and, um, I'm, I'm finally like ringing it in because it's, yeah, it was, it's been a lot of, I don't want to say wasted money. It's not wasted money. They're my children. I love my children. I want, I will spend money on my children, but 
I could have spent it wi more wisely. <laughs> Let's just say that in the last year. Not that, you know, I would probably spend it on a handbag. But <laughs> I could have spent it on something else. Maybe I could have gone on a quick weekend vacation or something. But um, anyhow, I'm trying to be better about not freaking out and running to the emergency doc doctor every time, you know, there's anything remotely wrong with the pugs. Um, but anyway, they're, they're cute little, you know, perky selves bring me so much joy. I love them so much. So, um, I'm going to start working on maybe I'll try. I'm sorry. Maybe Instagram. Um, that's about all I'll ever do is Instagram. I, I, I can't do the tick. I, I'm old. I'm old. I can't do the TikTok. <laughs> I can't do, I used to do Snapchat way, way back when it first started. So I wasn't completely this you know, ancient, but you know, it was like so much to keep up with. It was like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, da, 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 da. everything under the sun. I'm like, I'm, I, I can do like one or two at most outside of, um, work. I've got the work consumes everything. If I, want to actually, you know, sleep and <laughs> have a life. Um, I can't, I'm not going to, I'm sorry, just not going to. So I know that there's other creators out there that do so much better, um, with everything. You get what you get. I'm sorry. I'm doing, doing my best. So I appreciate everybody that puts up with me. I'm, I do. I appreciate. So I will check back in over there. And we will go through what's what's new for this week, and then we'll wrap up at the end. Okay, so here was the scent tray. And you will be proud of me because I attempted to give this another try. I still hate it. <laughs> so I tried real, real hard. I wore it one day and it was like, it's a, why I, it just doesn't seem right. So I mixed it with pickles. I mixed it with that one and it seemed bearable. Um, but then the next day, two days later, excuse me, I tried, I'm like, I'm gonna try it again, put it on. And it was so unbearable that I actually, during my lunch hour, had to go, thankfully I was working from home that day. I had to go take a shower, literally scrub myself to get this off of me. It was driving me that insane. I don't know why I hate it so much, but I really hate it. So yeah, I mean, I guess, look at that. I like barely made a dent in it, if you can see the liquid. So I've used about that much of the bottle. It's not anything like what I wanted. And I swear I had a sample of it that I tried out and I, I don't know what happened. So I don't know, I'm ha half tempted to like, if somebody wants it, you know, maybe reach out. I might send it to you if you live in the States. So that was horrible. Um, Skylar, love it. Love Vanilla Vibes, love Mickey. I wore this the remainder of the day after that fiasco, but that was the only time I put this one on. So I might leave this one out for um, the week. We'll see. Um, but I lived over here as per usual because these are my favorite stuff. So I really need to maybe back away from this. And the world will not end. I have a, you'll laugh at me, way up here. That right there is a gift my husband gave me, I think, last Christmas, maybe the Christmas before. Um, that's a full bottle of Mickey that's just waiting there for this to be used up. So I'm not necessarily worried about using it up. I'm half half used up, but, um, you know, I don't really want to pick up a third bottle. Um, yeah, I love that, love that, but they need to be put away. So let me figure out what I'm going to do for the remainder, um, well, this next week, and I will be back. Okay, we're back, and we are all over the place this week, and 
I, I'm not exactly mad about it, but, um, so I was having like 10 minutes of an argument with myself. It's like, do I want to go here? Do I want to go here? Do I want to go here? Do I, wanna... I decided on this one because it's a little bit less spicy, I guess, than vanilla de aroma, but they're very similar. So picked that delicious. Um, I just, I just like it. I'm going to keep Cherry Garden in the mix because I didn't give it enough love. And I just think it's a really nice um, fragrance. So I think it needs to be back. So with Cherry Garden, that led me over to Wonder Woman, Raspberry Pink Pepper. I forget all the, the notes, but um, really enjoy this one. It's one of my favorite ones for the summertime. Um, so definitely want to use Wonder Woman. And then I was just like, I need gourmands because I'm a gourmand kind of girl. And I have not grabbed chocolate. You can, it's all reflections here. Chocolate Greedy is this from Montal. These are aluminum cans. They look, remind me of like whipped cream canisters or something like that. Um, you pull this pin and then it is able to spray. They have these little strange kind of dust bags, but it's and it's strange to want to smell like hot chocolate but if you really want to smell like some hot chocolate that's literally what this is it's it's literally chocolate and tense and it's just it's, it smells nice i don't know I, I like the way it smells so that led me then to one i haven't worn in years this um villanella extreme and i cannot read the brand Sued Pacific Pacific. I'll put the name in text. Um, they do a lot of vanillas in a very um, a large variety, and I've been keep meaning to pick up more of them because I just really do enjoy. I mean, it's like, and I don't mean to sound like you know lame, but it's almost like going out to the kitchen and throwing on some vanilla extract, but. Not really. It's perfume, but it's it's that intense. It's very intense vanilla. More of a, you know, have a vanilla bean kind of thing. It's like, it's very, very, this is as vanilla as vanilla gets. No other notes that I can pick up, but they have other ones that are like vanilla apricot, vanilla pear. Um, I'm trying to remember all the different varieties that they have. And so that's wanting me to figure, I think they even have one with chocolate. I can't remember, but they have all these other variations that are very intriguing and I keep meaning to pick some up, but let's be honest. Do I need to pick anything up? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. So maybe a set like this. <laughs> I'll talk to myself. Maybe a set like this. That will be the set tray of the week. I'm sure I'll get lots of use out of it and enjoy it. Okay, so as stated, I just did this for the week. It stayed on okay. There's a couple nails that are completely bare, but most of them you can still see the barest hint of the polish still there. So with that... I want to do something again that's like a one coater that I won't worry about it falling off or chipping and caring about. So I think we're just going to do something like got cake. Is that right? No, that's everything taco. Yeah, everything taco. This is literally like one that she did for a special collection. I think it was the anniversary a couple years ago. Might've been a birthday. Um, it's all, all of the stuff mixed together. Um, all the varieties of, of toppers mixed together. So I think this would be a good one. It'll be clear, but still pretty. And we'll just go there. Okay, so this is where we were last week. See how mushy it is? She's so mushy. It's fabulous. Um, I did get to clean up the um, lock though. So that little weird overcast came off real, real well. So 
um, wrapped her with a twilly, well, bandeau, excuse me, for the brand. Um, yeah, so it was a decent run. Everything, unfortunately, is not very organized. So let me see if I can get that lit up in there. It's literally a pile of everything. Um, I, I'm just not very organized. So in a perfect world, yes, I put the phone, you know, in the pocket and I just haven't been good. So let me dig everything out that I carried this week. Pencil case, other car keys. I actually grabbed my Fendi glasses um, when I went into work. I also have these foldable ones from Haven. Got them off a QVC years ago. They're actually pretty cool. You fold them up. Let me do that real quick. So they fold up like this. I wish I had more. I should have bought more. And of course, all the usual garbage that I keep in my bag. So we are empty. She's going back to her, her home. And we will be back with a plan. You might have gotten the hint last week when I was digging out my other bags when I found this in the back of the wall up there. This is one of the last Michael Kors bags I picked up. Um, I want to say the, the last, but one of the last. So I was still in my Hamilton phase, gathering a bunch of those. I think it was after a couple of Safiano purchases that um, I got the Safianos that had the metallic edges and they started to um, break down and become very um, cheap looking very quickly. So I decided to go back to looking for pebbled leather types of um, bags from him. And I came across this beauty on Tradesy at the time. Um, has the same problem as the white one, this little weird overcast. So I'm going to work on cleaning up the lock. But what I really like about this one, so it has um, this mechanism here. So the lock can be moved from here to lock here, can keep this locked. Um, in here, insufficient stuffing is the crossbody strap or shoulder strap. And I just think it's a really good piece. So inside here, very similar to the Hamilton, two slip pockets there, the zipper pocket, the ancient cell phone pocket we used to have, and another um, labeled pocket there. So quite, quite spacious. Oh, key fob, little deal as well. So lots of beautiful um, use for it. And of course there's this pocket up here that I've never used because the lock's always been in place. Here's the close shut. You can unlock it obviously, but I just don't bother. I think it's pretty. So, um, I am going to keep everything pretty much intact except for I am going to swap out my card case. So let's stuff it with what I have. I'm going to keep the Fendi sunglasses, put that in there, keep the pen holder, keys, other car keys. We're going to pretend the phone is going to live in here, but I'm not going to put it in there permanently. Let's see. Okay, the slip pockets are too tight on that side, but it does fit in that slip pocket for my phone. So to note, 
always have to worry about my giant phone. Gift card can go in here. Coin. And then I'm going to put the strap on. She's quite filled up. We are going to use my Dior card case. So this one I had purchased not too long ago. Has to get some use. Okay, so when I swap out of my big wallet, I always um, just bring a couple of cards and then my license, um, I'll put my healthcare card inside there um, and then my Ulta card because you never know, I'm always at Ulta. Um, so that's, this card right here is actually my Costco card and credit card all at one in one. So that's why I always bring that one with me because you never know when you're going to go to Costco or get gas. Um, my debit card and then my driver's license. So those are the, like the, these are the crucial cards that have to be with me at all times. Um, and then everything else, like my other bank cards, other, my different credit unions and things that I belong to, Nordstrom, TJ Maxx, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't carry those with me on a regular basis unless I know I'm going shopping and then, um, you know, other card, I might take the cash with me, but depends on the situation, but I will always carry those items with me. So those are going to go in. I think I'm going to put that in the pocket because it's a light color and I don't want to color transfer from the other dark SLGs that are in there. So that is the look of the week. How you doing, Mama? It's too hot. Yeah. We don't like we don't like warm weather. We're not made for that. We got we've got too much insulation, huh? It's not the most fun. It's a good thing that we have that air conditioning right there, right? It's the best thing ever. What about you, pickles? Is it? Is that the best thing ever? Even booze here. <laughs> so yeah, the pugs haven't been enjoying the last couple of days. It can't make up its mind here what what we're doing if it's a hot, cold, what have you. I think it's gonna only like totally be like about eighty today, maybe. But they're already overheating and out twice. <laughs> and they they love they're like solar pugs. They love to sit out in the sun and and you know get all the sun on them. But then they overheat and have to come in and. And, and breathe and they don't learn so love them to death so hope you had a good week we'll have a good week and yeah we'll see you see you next time i did do have the nails on but you can't really see them really well so i'll insert a um image of how they they look with the everything taco and we will see you next week and we'll see what what the world brings us. So take care. Bye.